Okay, listen up. MOA actually means minute of angle. And it's not a measurement of distance or size, it's a measurement of angle. So this is a top-down view of our shooter, and we have a circle. So circle is 360 degrees, right? So this means that if we divide this circle in equal parts, one degree will be like this, a certain value. We have 360 of these parts to complete the whole circle. Now, if we take one of these degrees and then divide it to 60 parts, we get minutes. And now if we multiply 360 degrees with 60 minutes, we get 21,600 MOA. That's minute of angle. Why do we use this minutes of angle to kind of gauge our accuracy? because of one very interesting and convenient fact. One minute of angle is one inch at 100 yards. Now the cool part here is because this is an angle, if I say that my rifle is one MOA, I don't have to state the distance because the further you go, the bigger the dispersion, but the angle stays consistent. That's why MOA works. To give you a nice visual example, we have a rifle here that's fixed then we have targets at different distances, so one after another. We start to shoot, and at, let's say, distance 100 yards, we get a certain cone, a certain spread of shots. Now, these shots go through the target, it's a paper target, and they fly forward to the other targets. So, what happens is that double the distance, the grouping will be double the size. And then, of course, if we triple the distance, we triple the size of the grouping. This actually goes pretty linear to a certain distance because then you're limited with uh, bullets going to transonic range. Then on larger distances, you have outside influence like wind and then also drop of the bullet, a lot of it. But accuracy kind of is very linear. So if this is one MOA, this will be one MOA also at 200 meters, one MOA at 300 meters, just the grouping will be bigger, but the angle stays the same.